Beat Cars now getting into position for the commencement of the six lap qualifying race. Pole position in car number 61, the Holden Special, is Peter Boland on the outside, Wal Brooker in 29. Behind them, Ken Morton driving car number 18. Further back comes Al Staples in the Madden Holden car 12 on the outside, Sid Middlemas in 97. Behind them, Laurie Seidel in 44, George Archibald in car 67, and Len Brock in the Burko Holden car 2. They move towards the starter. Six laps, rolling start. They're racing. First away as they move into the top corner the first time around is car 29. Walbrooker, he leads from Peter Boland in 61, who's having trouble as they move out of the top corner and down the back straightaway. Third at the moment is car number 18, Ken Morton. Around the outside comes Al Staples in car number 12. They move through the bottom corner towards the main straightaway. Don Hunt's having mechanical trouble in 95 and withdraws from the event. The lead at the moment through the top corner the second time around is held by Walbrooker in the Holden car 29. Further back then comes car 61, Peter Bolden, who's holding down second place from Al Staples in car number 12, who has also struck mechanical trouble at this stage. Through the bottom corner now, and it's Sid Middlemas making the break around the outside of Staples, leaving Morton in car 18 pegged in behind. Through the bottom corner once more, they manoeuvre the cars, and there's about three laps to go. The leader, unchallenged, car number 29 in the Holden Special, Walbrooker. Second, car number 61, Peter Boland, followed in third place, a long way back by Sid Middlemas. Then comes Ken Morton, George Archibald in 67, Laurie Seidel in car 44, and a long, long way back then to Al Sables in number 12. Once more in the back straight away, manoeuvring quickly towards the pit turn in car 29 is Wal Brooker, well clear of Peter Boland in car 61, third at the moment, 97 Sid Middlemas, and behind them comes Archibald, followed by Morton, and then comes Seidel. Once more up the main straight away, the green lights flashing, two laps to go, Brooker's got this one in the bag from Boland, around the outside in car number 67 comes George Archibald, attempting to challenge Sid Middlemas, wheeling car 97, but as they move through the top corner once more, a car has thrown a wheel, car number 18, Ken Morton's car has thrown a wheel, the race has been stopped at this stage, the green lights are now back on for the completion of the event, cars have not altered positions, Brooker's leading a long way back then in car 97, second position now held down by Sid Middlemas who got the jump from Peter Boland, the wheeler of 61, then comes Archibald in 67 and finally Seidel in car number 44 and that's the way they finish in the six lap speed car qualifying race. First four go to the speed car feature race. First four qualifiers for this evening's feature race, Wal Brooker in 29, Sid Middlemas in 97, Car number 61, Peter Boland, and car 67, the Holden Special, driven by George Archibald. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We move on now to the big speed car event on this evening's program, the speed car feature race to be decided over 20 laps, rolling start. This evening, February 6, 1965. A field of 19 cars to contest this 20 lap event. Pole position going to number 88, the Neptune Holden wheeled by Brian Mannion, winner of last week's 50 lap speed car championship. Position two tonight goes to Len Brock in car number two. Position three will be held by Sid Reed in car three. On the outside in position four, Sid Clark. Behind them comes Johnny Pierce, Kevin Park, Peter Canine in position eight. Behind Kaneen is Johnny Stewart in car one from position nine. Behind them on the outside comes Lou Marshall in the Wells Holden 54. Behind them, further back to Jeff Freeman in the Phillips Offie car 75. On the inside, moving through to his respective starting position is Brian Kaneen in car 55, the link later Holden. Brian Kaneen has drawn position seven. Going back behind Freeman, Sid Middlemas, Wal Brooker, Peter Boland, Laurie Seidel, Don Hunt, George Archibald, Nick Collier in the Offenhauser car five and Terry Weinhardt in car 77. Field of 19 cars, 20 laps rolling start. The cars now moving into position as they circle through the pit corner and towards the starter, Owen Bateman. Bateman not happy with positions first time around. Pole car once more, number 88, Brian Mannion. Brock drawn a very handy position in car number two, the very potent Dark Holden. In the next row, Sid Reed very keen to get away. On the outside, Sid Clark. And behind them comes car 66, the McGee Shell Holden, powered by Kevin Park, 
and on the outside is car 20, Johnny Pierce. In the next row, Brian and Peter Canine. This time they move through the pit corner and towards the starter. It looks like a start. They're racing. They move to the top corner the first time around and Brock has the lead from Mannion. Then comes Clark. They were followed by Johnny Pierce on the inside. Did read further back to car 66, Kevin Park. Then comes Brian Canine, Peter Canine, Jeff Freeman, Johnny Stewart moving through on the inside of Freeman. Johnny Pierce is up into the wall in the pit corner, hit by Freeman. The marshal is clear. Most of the other cars seem to have avoided this accident on the top corner. Johnny Pierce comes to rest against Jeff Freeman's Offenhauser, the Phillips Offy. Both these cars tied together in the top corner. Ambulance men, officials are now racing to the scene. The ambulance moves to the pit corner. Johnny Pierce appeared to move up to the pit wall, moving through on the second lap, collected the pit wall and then bounced down. Freeman got sideways and ran into John Pierce, and that's where they came to stop on the infield. All cars now come to a dead stop. The red lights are on. and waiting to find out Johnny Pierce's condition. Johnny Pierce is quite okay. The race will be rerun in just a few moments time. Cars once more move away to take up their positions for the complete rerun of event number 18 on this evening's program, the 20 lap speed car feature race. Only one scratching from the event and that is Johnny Pierce, the driver of car number 20. Jeff Freeman, who was involved in the accident with Johnny Pierce, has been able to restart in the Phillips Offy car 75. Brian Mannion once more retains the pole position. Johnny Stewart moving away now in car number one. Len Brock in car two. We'll start from position two. Position three will be held down by Sid Reed, and on the outside of Reed in position four will be Sid Clark. Peter and Brian Canine now moving through to take up their respective starting positions. And all the field are now underway. Freeman doesn't appear to have damaged the Phillips Offy car 75. Cars now taking, starting rather to take lines. They move through the top corner. We could see a start next time around. Cars now quickly moving into position. Looking at the field, it's Mannion, Brock, Reed, Park, Clark. Then comes Brian and Peter Canine, Johnny Stewart, Lou Marshall, and Jeff Freeman. With six additions from the junior events. They move through the top corner, cautiously moving to the starter. It will be another lap. A very impressive sight as these cars move through the top corner and start their run down the back straightaway prior to the commencement of this 20 lap event. Mannion, Brock, Reed, Clark, Park, Brian Canine, Peter Canine, Lou Marshall, Johnny Stewart, Jeff Freeman, Walbrook, Sid Middlemas. Peter Boland, Laurie Seidel, George Archibald, Don Hunt, and at the rear of the field, car number five, Nick Collier. They move to the starter. Should be a go this time. They're away, and Mannion heads this time. Brock's around the outside. Once more hits the lead in car number two as they move through the bottom corner. Brian Canine goes to the top of the track. Peter Canine is down underneath Lou Marshall. Jeff Freeman in behind, followed by Johnny Stewart. They move into the back straight away and into the top corner on the first lap, and it's Brock well clear of car 51, Clark. Next at hand in car number 88 is Mannion. Freeman brushes the fence, so does Brian Canine. Peter Canine gets through on the outside of car number three, Sid Clark. Also well positioned as they move into the back straight away on the second left. The leader is Brock. Second at the moment is Clark. They were followed by Kevin Park. Then on the outside comes Peter Ganine challenging Brian Mannion around the outside of Mannion. Ganine's riding high, but Mannion holds him up. Then comes Sid Reed on the outside. Lou Marshall. They were followed by Brian Ganine, Johnny Stewart and Jeff Freeman. Once more into the back straight away and Brock has the lead from car 51. Sid Clark followed by Park. Then comes Peter Ganine through clear on the inside of Brian Mannion. Behind them comes Stewart going right to the top of the track on the outside of Freeman. 
As they move to the bottom corner, it's Brock leading from car 51, Clark then comes Clark in 66, and Peter Gideon dueling with Clark as they speak. In the back straight away, Jeff Freeman and Johnny Stewart dicing. As they move to the top corner, however, it's Brock well clear in car two. Peter Gideon now gets the breakthrough on car number 51, Sid Clark, and moves into position three. Sets sail out the car 66, Kevin Clark, who's holding second. Freeman moves around the outside of Brian Janine and chases after Sid Reed. Johnny Stewart looking for an opening behind Brian Janine as I speak. Brock's cleared out in car two. Jeff Freeman's around the outside of Mannion now chasing Clark. Freeman now successfully passes Clark and sets sail out the 54. Marshall is wheeling the SO Wells Holden. The position at the moment is Brock leading well clear from car 66, Kevin Clark. Close at hand is Peter Ganeen, followed by Lou Marshall, Jeff Freeman, Sid Clark, Sid Reed skating the board. This car 61, Peter Bowen. Once more down past the starting straight, and it's Brock the leader from back. Ganeen holding third from Lou Marshall, who's challenging at this stage. Further back to Freeman, then comes Clark Reed, followed by Brian Ganeen, Brian Mannion, Johnny Stewart. Then comes car 61, Peter Boland and Walbrook are dueling in the back straight away. Brock would appear to have this one in the bag at this stage of the event. He's well clear of Park and Peter Ganeen's trying desperately to bridge the gap to Kevin Park to move into second spot. The pace is a cracker as they move through the top corner and up the main straight away once more. Still a full field of 19 cars. Car 24 loses a wheel in the main straightaway. Don Hunt loses a wheel and careers head on into the wall. All other cars manage to avoid Hunt's car, number 24. Front end appears severely damaged. As I speak, the wheel continues to float down the track and has now reached the bottom corner, the, rather the top corner, the bullpen's corner. Hunt appears quite okay. He's now receiving attention from the ambulance men and track officials and once more this 20 grueling laps of speed car racing comes to a halt one two three four five and we're away once more does anyone guess who will romp home first in this one 11 laps to go Pierce and Hunt, victims of the rafters, are now spectators. Brock has moved to a very commanding position in car number two, bounced away in the first corner and got to a very handy and a very good lead from Kevin Park wheeling car 66 and Peter Canine pressing in car number four. Car's now starting to move away once more to complete the 11 laps of tonight's big car feature race. The big guns are still in action. Johnny Stewart now underway. Jeff Freeman also well positioned. And the outcome will know in just a few moments' time. All cars are now underway once more, starting to take up their positions. Brock from one, Kevin Park from two, Peter Canine three, Lou Marshall four, Jeff Freeman five, Sid Reed six, Sid Clark seven, Brian Canine eight, Brian Mannion nine. Behind them comes Stewart in position 10, Walbrooker in position 11. Further back then to Peter Boland, Laurie Seidel, George Archibald, Sid Middlemas and Nick Collier. Picking up Bates in the back straight away. Starter Owen Bateman ready for them. 11 laps to go. They pour the power on and they're away. 11 laps to go in the speed car feature race. Rock away from Park. Then comes Peter Ganeen, followed by Marshall on the inside. Freeman looking for an opening. It's Kevin Park riding the railings through the top corner and down the back straight away. Peter Ganeen now looking for an opening as they move to the top corner. Ganeen desperately trying to find position two. Struck a bump in the top corner that time around. Rock's going like Jack the Bear out in front from Park. Gideon still looking for an opening. Marshall hanging on from Jeff Freeman, who's got the Phillips Duffy really working overtime in this event. Sid Reed next at hand in car number three. The once ball through the back straight away and into the top corner, and Brock's finding trouble with a bump in that top corner. 
At this stage, car 75, Jeff Freeman runs up the back of Lou Marshall. No damage caused whatsoever, and both drivers continue. The duel for second place now becomes even harder as Lou Marshall joins the trio of Kevin Park, car 4, Peter Cadeen, and car 75, will by Jeff Freeman. Through the top corner, you can forget Brock at the moment. He's so far in front, it doesn't matter. The interesting part is between car 66 Park and the Shalimar McGee Holden, the m d Holden next at hand car, and before wheel by Peter Gavine, then comes Lou Marshall, Jeff Freeman, and Sid Reed. This time through the top corner, car number four, Peter Gavine manoeuvres the midget out of the top turn and up the main straight away, loses a little ground to Gavin Park. At this time, looking back through the field, it's Brock the leader, a long way back then to car 66, and there comes Peter Canine running up the back as they move to the bottom corner. Next at hand is car 54, Lou Marshall, then comes Freeman, Sid Reed, a long way back to Sid Clark, and then comes Brian Canine, Johnny Stewart, Brian Mannion. Clark moves out in the back straight away, Canine looking for an opening on the inside. Once more through the fifth turn. Freeman goes high to try and get around Marshall in the wells hold him but fails to do so. Nick Collier withdraws in car number five. Brock, Janine trying once more on the inside this time with Kevin Park. Up past the starting straight and there's Janine. Rocketing up on the inside trying desperately for position two but Hark, Park rather holds him up. Out of the top corner and down the back straight away, it's Park and Canine, wheel and wheel together. Behind them, another duel is set in between Lou Marshall and Jeff Freeman. Rocks out on his own. Two duels being fought fiercely here at the moment. One between Kevin Park and Peter Canine, and behind them, Lou Marshall and Jeff Freeman. Janine rockets into the top corner now and moves through on the inside of Park trying desperately to get through there but fails to do so once more. Freeman this time tries around the outside of Lou Marshall in a desperate bit as they move through the top corner. Freeman almost lost it. Up the main straight away and there's Janine. Backs off once more to allow Park to move through the top corner in position two. Brock now starting to come around the main straight away and takes the checkered flag. Second in the event, car number 66, Kevin Park. Third, Peter Canine. They were followed by Marshall, Freeman, Sid Reed, Sid Clark, Brian Canine, Brian Mannion, Johnny Stewart. While Brooker next at home would be Larry Seidel. Car 67, then comes George Archibald. 61, Peter Boland. And last car across the line this evening in the feature race, car number 97, Sid Middlemas. And that's the way they finished. 20 laps rolling start. The winner once more, Len Brock from position two in car number two.